Hi everyone, it's Mona B here. So today I'm coming on to talk about how to grow out a taper haircut. Um, if you're new to my channel, you may not know that I had really, really low taper size and I started on the journey of growing my hair back out. So yeah, um, I just wanna put a disclaimer out that I am not a hairdresser. So basically the tips that I'm going to share with you guys on how to grow out a taper cut is from my own experiences and what I've experienced with my hair. I, everyone's hair is different so some of these things may or may not work but I just want to put them out there and share like some of my experiences with you all um yeah so yeah I just style hair for fun I love styling my hair and plus I have to do my hair <laughs> so you know um so yeah I just want to put that disclaimer out here that these are not professional tips they're just my own experiences experiences that I've dealt with with the my natural hair and growing it out keeping your hair moisturized that is very very important when you're growing out your tapered haircut because if you have like shaved size wherever your hair is shaved that it's very important to always keep that moisturized because it's going to grow in and you're going to have a whole bunch of new growth and that new growth is new to being exposed so you don't want it to be dry so one of the biggest things is keeping it moisturized. I know for me that has always been a challenge with my hair and I kind of find it found it to be challenging while growing out my taper cut because the hair is just growing so fast. So it's like it's just thirsty for moisture all the time. And natural hair is always, you know, thirsty for natural. I mean, natural hair is always thirsty. Hair in general is always thirsty for moisture. But I think that's very, very, very important when you're growing out your taper cut is keeping it moisturized because if it's not moisturized, it will break off. And you're trying to grow it out, so you don't really want it to break off, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, another thing is trying... I'm looking down at my list, sorry. But another thing is trying to... But, um, remember to manipulate your hair back to how it was when you first got it cut. Um, like so when you first get your, your hair tapered, basically the styles that you wore when you first got it cut, try to do those same styles. And my point of that is like as your hair grows out, you shrinkage to it, its advantage. Like if you're if you notice that your cut is growing out and is losing a lot of shape, use shrinkage. I mean shrinkage is very helpful. When you're trying to grow out a taper cut because you can mold your hair with the shrinkage to get it back into that taper haircut look while you're trying to grow it out i know for me for a while i did that and it worked really well but the longer my hair got um it was kind of harder for me to manipulate it but if you're in the like earlier stages of growing out your taper haircut i think manipulation is one of the best ways to like um grow it out it helps it to just retain the same shape that it had when you first got it cut because I know that can be frustrating when you're trying to style your hair and it's not working out how you would like it to work because I dealt with that but I, I will say that um when I manipulated my I, I tried I just tried to manipulate the shape like I said use shrinkage to its advantage use it sh shrinkage don't try to stretch out your hair because I noticed when I was trying to stretch out my hair it wasn't it didn't look right it didn't appear to be right so yes use shrinkage to your advantage um also you are probably going to lose shape nine times out of ten when growing out a taper cut you will lose shape to your cut that's a given because your hair is growing out so one of the tips that i will say if you are losing shape the thing that you may have to do is possibly get a trim now you don't have to get something drastic or do a whole big chop you can still keep your length but just get it trimmed so that way it still kind of sort of has a shape because while it's growing out it won't have a shape anymore like mine i had like mine kind of got to, like too far and it just completely lost shape and also if your hair isn't like all different lengths and all and even so if you have a taper cut and it's all one length on the top and all the length is the same around the you know the perimeter like the size then that's another easy way to just go ahead and get a trim because you don't have different lengths so you won't have to you know go in and manipulate and try to cut all of the different lengths to the same lengths because all your hair is still the same length so um what i would say is just get a trim that would be you know really good just go ahead and get a trim because that would really help you know manipulate your hair back into shape like just to keep a shape because that's the key when growing out of taper cut you never want to completely lose shape because once you lose shape you're in trouble and it is going to be very difficult for you to um continue to grow it out um, so yeah, I would definitely say 
shape it up. Um, cut. I mean, like you guys saw in my videos, and if you haven't, um, I have a video on my channel called My Taper Haircut is Busted. As you probably saw, or if you didn't see the video, my hair had got completely out of whack completely out of whack because it had different lengths and I know when some people get their hair cut into a tapered look you may have different lengths going on in your hair so sometimes it is best sometimes it is when you're going to have a tapered cut or growing out your hair in general just to go ahead and get it cut so that it's all growing one length because when you have one part of your hair in the back is long and the other part is short right here and the other part is medium length and you got two and a half inches here three and a half inches here four and a half inches here five and a half inches here it's going to be too hard for you to try to manipulate the shape or try to even shape it to even style it so i would really recommend to just go ahead and get a cut if you have a million different um limbs i'm gonna be honest just don't even d bother with it i mean i would just go and get a cut because then at least you know when it's growing out it will all be the same length and then you don't have to worry about it like then it grows out and it's five and a half inches here and then you got still got two and a half inches here that's gonna look crazy so i will say if your taper cut has gotten really out of control like mine did because it was all different lengths i would recommend to go ahead and just get it cut into maybe a, t a twa you can still get it cut into a style like mine's is cut into a taper cut still um it's longer in the front in the top and short on the sides but um it's growing and it's all even and it's healthy that's another thing because if your hair is all different lengths it's probably going to start breaking it's just not the same length and then you're trying to manipulate it and that's causing too much friction and tension on your hair like you want to do try to use low manipulation also when you're growing out a taper haircut because the lower man, the manipulation the easier it will be for your hair to grow out if you're like steady doing a million different things to your hair and you're just in it 24 7 it won't grow out because you're just in it your hair needs a break it needs to just rest and try to do like low maintenance styles like um like while i was growing out my hair like when i was wearing it and manipulating it i wasn't like putting product in it every day so you don't want to put a lot of product on it because you don't want to clog your pores and your scalp or your hair follicle you don't want to um clog that up that's that won't be good for your hair at all um also another thing is protective styles that is a big when you're growing out a taper haircut if you do not want to deal with your hair you can do protective styles um wigs you know those are really good because you can just tucker your hair away and it is free from you know the the um, elements in the climate um you don't have to worry about the wind or anything hitting your hair that can cause it to be damaged so yeah wigs are great for that also braids and you guys know that i did a lot of protective of styling with braids because when you have a tapered cut nine times out of ten depending on where your hair is i'm pretty sure your hair is going to be tapered around the perimeter here so if you have hair here you can just go ahead and put braids and if you get your hair braided or if you braid your hair braid them close together that way when you wear want to wear it down you can cover your sides so that's another way if you don't want to cut or trim your natural hair is to protect the style until it gets to a length that you're comfortable with getting comfortable with getting it cut into a shape so that it all grows out properly um and also with wearing protective styles such as braids you this perimeter of your hair is still going to be shown unless your hair is long enough to grip if it's not short as mine's was if it's long enough to grip then you don't have a problem you can just protective style all over your hair just make sure while it's in a protective style so keep it moist and stuff like that and moisturize and stuff like that but if your hair was short like mine when i was wearing my box braid styles it's very 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 important to keep that hair moisturized because now you have putting synthetic hair in your hair and if you're wearing it down all the time your hair isn't breathing as much so um i would definitely say still wash your hair um when i had my braids in what i would do is pull all the braids in the top in a ponytail and i would just wash the sides deep condition the sides and then i would just go ahead and moisturize them because you want to keep those parts moist because they are still exposed um while you're growing out your taper cut but yeah that's a really good way because you can cover up your sides if it's kind of looking crazy oh and also i want to add get a line a line can do wonders if you're going out of taper cut like just want to get your hair lined up will make your hair look totally different like it can really help to change the appearance of your hair so that's another big thing is to make sure 
you get a trim and you don't have and I like how mine is natural here I just have a little um not a trim a line oh my goodness no I didn't mean a trim a line is you can go ahead and get a line because that can really really improve and change the way that your hair looks because here I am lined and in the back and you don't have to get like a crazy line where your edges aren't um grown in anymore like you don't have to cut your edges off just get a line and that can really really change the appearance of your hair while you're growing out growing it out <laughs> um so yeah those are just some tips that i have i know they're not a lot but um they worked for me like because my hair had gotten so bad and all of those tips during the journey just of course over what a month two months that i was growing out my tape that i grew out my tapered haircut to get it to this point on the sides because it is growing in those are the things that I personally did and as far as moisturizers just find a moisturizer that works for your hair um yeah you want to just find something that you know that's always worked for your hair as for as far as moisture so if that may be shea butter or just you know a light con a light leave-in conditioner or whatever moisturizes your hair um yeah that that will really be beneficial to you growing out your tapered haircut and yeah so those are the tips i have like i said i know they they are not a lot but you know you can kind of manipulate those you know those tips to the way you know for them to work for your hair you don't have to use them directly how i said but um you can find ways to make those tips work and yeah so i just wanted to come on share those with you guys and yes i still am growing out my taper cut so as i grow it out i will probably still learn new things and new tips and tricks to manipulate my hair to keep it shape while i am growing out so it doesn't look crazy and yeah so those are the tips that i have and i will catch you on the next one bye